Hi, welcome to the Biomass Technology Demonstration Center of the Cheetah Conservation Fund here at our headquarters outside of Ochoverongo, Namibia. We're going to walk you around in a bit and show you what goes on, but first I want to introduce the major staff. Johan Brintz is the farms manager and the biomass manager of operations. Yeah, that's what we basically do is we take the invader bush and we turn it into something that everybody wants. Um, and by that we're clearing our land a little bit and make it more, more uh, livestock friendly and make it a better place to live for our, all our animals. Martin Nkemwa is our chief ecologist and our forest steward. So he's very involved in seeing that we do things right. We have this bush and the bush is basically harvested in the field. And after that, it's transported here uh, at, the, at, the, at, the, at the biomass center. And from that, it's actually converted into fuel logs. I help CCF with doing field inspections and also with biodiversity surveys. Great. So welcome to the Biomass Technology Demonstration Center. Okay, after hammer milling, we hammer mill this raw wood chip into a mobile silo that we bring over on our trolley system and then move up so it sits over that pipe on the bottom, which is known as a chain conveyor. And then we can empty out of any one of our silos into the chain conveyor. The reason we have a system like this is since we are a research organization, we can then check different uh, recipes, let's call it a bush. We could have all one type bush in silo A, a different type in silo B, etc. And eventually see which works better to make a different type of extruded product. But whatever type we use, it simply falls down into the chain conveyor and is taken next door into the extrusion hall. Okay, so from the silos through the chain conveyor, the hammer mode chips comes in and it falls into this piece of equipment that we call an extruder. And this is an actual machine that I'm making the bush block. It's basically nothing different than a simple sausage maker where we use real power to turn a screw like this and the end result through heat that are added in the process. The only thing that are added to the natural wood is heat and it goes through and forms the bush block. Um, as you can see here, this is what comes out of the extruder eventually. And this will then be cut into smaller pieces and be used as firewood all over the country or wherever people want it. This is our latest piece of production equipment. This is a wood pellet press line, complete with raw material tank, its own hammer mill, and its own extrusion apparatus to produce wood pellets, which are the more common form of woody biomass in the global trade. And we're doing this so we can demonstrate what type pellet can actually be made out of Namibian hardwoods in hopes that the industry will really take off and use much more biomass. This is our industrial retort. This is a way to do charcoal on a, a larger scale than doing simply the small, round, smoky pots that are very common on the farmlands in Southern Africa. In this case, we take whatever we wish to carbonize and load it in to one of these chambers, which we call cans. We seal on the doors, and then we take a train of three cans and put into one of the two chambers of this retort. And the chambers are interconnected. So we then seal the door, add a little heat in a firebox. The heat comes through, the wood that's trapped in those containers gets hotter and hotter and hotter and hotter. And eventually it starts to pyrolyze, i.e. to carbonize. Pyrolysis is an exothermic process, so it's giving off heat. So we can shift some valves 
and trap the extra heat and the extra vapors and send it into the other chamber where we can introduce raw wood. And that way we're not letting as much pollution go into the atmosphere. We're also more efficient. And about every day we can take out one finished train of wood and put in a train of raw wood. In addition to being a more efficient process in general, it has particular value to us in the bush block process because the standard bush block, while a very valuable product, is very heavy. By carbonizing it, you reduce its weight a lot without any real loss in the, the caloric value. So this makes a much more valuable product because it's much less expensive to ship. So this is a standard bush block and then a carbonized bush block produced through this retort. So last year, the drought has forced us to look at alternative ways of getting feet into Namibia and for our livestock, since we really had nothing. Um, one way that we looked at was to, to, to take bush that we harvest, put it through the same process that we've done for with the extruder, hammer mull it, and then use it as a raw material to make a bush feed. Um, by adding some nutrients to this bush, we've managed to be able to get all our animals basically through that real dry um, period that we've, that we've had. And from now on, it will be part of, of our production line. This is a contiki kiln. We use it to make biochar. And in order to make it, we burn wood, as you can see there. That's the wood that we uh, load in, the, in, the, in this uh, pot. And we fill it up to here. And when it is ready, we quench it with water through the valve, which is down here. And as the water rises from the bottom, it actually causes the biochar to be activated partially. And we use that for amending the soils in order to make good compost. This is where the end product goes. It's basically wood chips that are mixed with the biochar and it's composted here for about 12 months. After that, the biochar mixed with the chip wood becomes compost and it is ready to be added to soil. This is composted wood chips mixed with biochar and it's organic rich and if you add it to the soil it will increase your soil nutrient composition okay we're at the main power plant out at the biomass technology demonstration center our main diesel gensets are here which provide backup power back to the main campus almost a kilometer away but here at the tech center we're preparing to bring in some biomass fuel electric generators. And this, of course, is renewable energy. We're quite excited. We're gonna have four small generator sets, each one producing about 22 kilowatts of electricity. And they'll be in a line here and fed off the same wood chips that are providing wood for the extrusion process. We're in the diesel power plant at the moment. We have two of these large 180 kilovolt uh, diesel gen sets. And these provide the backup power for the entire campus. Over at the main campus, about a kilometer away, we have a large photovoltaic system of 125 kilowatt capacity and a very large uh, room full of batteries to take us through the night. Marty and I are in front of our latest shed at the Biomass Tech Demo Center. There are a couple of 
couple lab buildings here where we're going to put in some equipment for analysis of the wood and the wood products. We've got a large work bay here to train people in equipment repair related to the biomass process. And at the end of the building, we have a classroom where we'll be doing all sorts of classes, everything from uh, chainsaw safety to uh, plant recognition. Michael's going to set up a demonstration garden out there for various types of woody bush that we deal with.